Hi everybody, I um, want to do a quick weekly review of the stock market. Um, this was a pretty big week. Um, you can see on the charts here, um, we have a daily chart. Uh, I can show you right here. Um, basically, it's been an up week um, for the most part. Um, it was a little bit of a struggle uh, the other day, uh, the 27th, but um, for the most part, it was a pretty good week. And we kind of saw the same thing last quarter. Um, if you see the end of July, um, things were kind of looking up as well. So um, basically earnings season uh, came in and then um, things kind of went down a little bit um, before that um, actually. Um, and then uh, things have kind of been going up. So uh, basically things have been looking pretty positive. Um, and for the most part, you can see on the measurement here, uh, if I measure this past week, um, you can see it's a good 5% move up or more. However, um, perhaps the biggest move down this past week was for Meta. Um, you can see right here, 25% downward move um, for the week. Um, you can see a number of other companies and outliers here uh, doing not so great. Uh, Alphabet also having kind of a bad week, about down 7%. Uh, Microsoft down about 4%. And Apple kind of looking up a little bit, just a tiny tiny bit, uh, almost 1% positive. Um, many other companies, Tesla looking positive. Blackstone, um, you can see NVIDIA here, Eli Lilly, uh, MasterCard, and Visa also looking positive. Um, so that, those are pretty big positive moves um, as well. Um, but certainly, um, you know, this meta move downwards um, was not good. Um, I think you can, Alibaba and Amazon are also kind of having some down moves as well. So you see on the charts here, uh, the one week uh, relative performance looks pretty good for real estate. Um, pretty good for consumer defensive utilities. Um, you can see communication services down here. Um, and the bottom, uh, let me zoom out a little bit here to get this chart back to 100%. But basically you can see communication services um, doing not so good. Um, companies in that sector, um, you can see, you just sort them here by market cap. You can kind of see who they are. Um, so you can see Google, Alphabet, Meta, and so on. Disney, these guys are kind of having a little bit of a trouble um, this past week. In terms of the most traded stocks, you can see um, basically Apple way out here um, with kind of the most volume. Um, and they are down a little bit, about 10% for three months um, performance. So um, if I change this to the week performance, you can see um, it's a little bit different for Apple, but uh, they're still the most traded this past week. Amazon was also heavily traded um, this past week. Um, and you can see um, Tesla, Microsoft, um, Meta here, and Alphabet, AMD being traded a lot. Um, NVIDIA being traded even more than AMD. So um, Intel being traded a lot, uh, T-Mobile, and others. So things have been looking up uh, since just about the mid of October, you can see right there, um, everything has been doing pretty well um, for the most part, at least according to the MACD. Um, on the volume side of things, um, it's a little bit more uh, fragile, but you can see in general, um, <coughs> we were looking pretty negative back here at the end of September on the volume, um, and then things still look pretty bad right in here, this spot here, um, but then things kind of pulled in uh, more positive. Uh, starting about mid October or yeah uh, as well. So um, and you can see it's kind of falling off a little bit here on the charts. So I really like looking at the force of these moves when you take the price times the volume um, and then bringing that back to the level that we see right in here. So we are basically having a force about in this level up in here. So that's a pretty good move um, for us if we measure that from here. Um, up to here, that's a good 13% move up. So the kind of forces we're seeing um, are quite positive, um, and this is certainly was quite negative as well. So, um, you know, it's not quite uh, what we need to see yet, um, but we could see um, some 13% uh, move or so. So that's, that's kind of um, pretty speculative. That's the end of November at the earliest and probably... Um, end of December um, is when we would likely see um, these kind of moves uh, in these ranges. So it could uh, have some downward trends, obviously. So if we just keep seeing a pretty good upward trend, um, that would be December um, that we make it up into here. But um, 
you know, it's just, uh, there's just some possibilities for some downward trend um, with the PCI numbers, um, consumer indexes and all that. So really what we're kind of uh, against in terms of the positive side of things is what happened here in uh, uh, June. Um, so this was a pretty negative streak here uh, that we kind of bottomed out at, and that was um, basically the same level that we kind of experienced in here, but not as much volume. So that was pretty serious downward trend. Um, you can see there was a lot of volume behind it. Um, these, this trend here, um, and then this trend here uh, as well. So, and you can also see there was some volume uh, here. So basically there's a lot of volume on the downward side and that was many months um, taking us back almost a full year. So um, certainly uh, to get these positive volumes here, we're looking at another, you know, at least a half year to eight months uh, to start seeing really good positive volume in here. So you can see that money has started to flow back into the market um, since about uh, mid-October here or early start of September or end of September. Um, so that's pretty true, but we also hit kind of a bottom here um, in terms of the money was basically all out of the market. So. There was another bottom back in here as well, but we even hit lower, at least according to the money flow um, here. So you can see that, that uh, <clears throat> these negative volumes in here really represent a big downtrend um, in general. So what are the oscillators saying about um, the moves here? So you can see um, Apple here at the top here in terms of market cap, um, Microsoft, uh, Alpha. Amazon, Tesla, and so on. So um, these are all the top companies um, in terms of where the money is at. And you can see um, basically the different levels for the MACD, Commodity Channel Index, Average 2 Range, Awesome Oscillator, and Average Directional. So um, you can see that they're saying Apple's a buy and Microsoft's a buy and Amazon's a sell. But, um, you know, you can kind of sort these um, and take a look at all of them and see, but there's still quite a number of buys um, in here. My favorite way to sort this is by net income. You can see right here, um, US dollars and billions. Um, so you can see Apple um, still number one, um, but kind of a different list here. You can see uh, kind of a different list in terms of uh, who's making actual profit. Um, so when you look at the weeks here, you can see we started the week around the 24th. So we're right at this level um, in here um, at the start. And then we kind of had an upward trend, downward trend, and then another upward trend kind of breaking a new high um, just today. So most of that turnaround started around 1030 this morning. Um, you can see that most people agreed um, by that time that uh, the market was going to be continuing to be going up. Um, you can see there was kind of a downward trend um, starting on the 26th, um, Wednesday or so, and then that kind of just turned around um, at that point. So, um, But most of this upward trend was still from uh, the week before, so it really wasn't even from prior to the earnings that we saw uh, this past week. It was the uptrend um, that really got us started. So we still haven't even reached that. Uh, level of positivity yet because we had this little downtrend here. Um, after that uptrend, so we're kind of comparing um, this downtrend to this uptrend. So, and this downtrend was um, pretty significant, um, and it's actually considered more significant, at least according to the MACD. So, when the MACD is essentially going down like this and the price is going up, that's considered a divergence. So, you can see here. Um, that um, this is a, considered a divergence because that peak to peak, we're looking at a peak here pretty soon on the MACD um, and that peak to peak is down. So that shows, and this shows an up trend here. So that's kind of um, basically classical divergence uh, in the market. So what you take, sometimes you can say there's gonna be a reversal at some point pretty soon it could take into uh, November for that reversal to happen. So you can see there's kind of still uh, some ups and downs that might happen here, um, leveling off, and then the reversal might happen uh, on the 7th or so. 
volume is a little bit harder to gauge sometimes. Um, you have to draw some lines on uh, kind of see. So you can see we have like a peak volume somewhere in that range here. Um, that shows uh, 2.8 million. And then on the bottom here, uh, you can see 2.9 million. So slightly lower, but we can move this up a little bit and say that that's looking slightly positive um, there. So um, now we don't really see too much um, price action back to the middle here. It's kind of curving around a little bit now. So it could uh, kind of get back to middle range in November. So basically what this is suggesting is that um, we're kind of hitting a peak on the positive volume here and then we could head back down into negative volume next week, early next week. Uh, on the first so that could be um an interesting scenario um looks like we're kind of oscillating here um and maybe even getting into some faster oscillations between positive and negative uh, back in here so we could see some pretty fast oscillations uh, next week um between positive and negative volume so to me the force looks like it is kind of trending down here you can see um that's kind of been trending down um, and as well as you kind of having another force here, but actually meeting uh, slightly positive here um, until here. So it looks like if we are into next week, um, into the third, then we kind of start to see the downward trend um, happen more significantly um, after the third. So that um, looks pretty solid on the force graph. So the money flow shows um, just kind of recent past couple days uh, money flowing into the market. You can see on the twigs, we're kind of seeing a little bit of negativity here. So um, if we do see some uh, negativity, um, you know, we kind of have to draw some lines here uh, and to just start estimating uh, where we might see these changes. So this shows that you know, we have a couple possibilities, right? We could see um, kind of a, a positive um, positive move into the market until the fourth or the third is what we saw on the other one, or we could see positive all the way into the end of November. So that's what the charts are saying. So depending on what's happening right now, um, Monday is a big day too. So if we start to see some down trend on Monday or Tuesday, um, that could signal this reversal, uh, even slight downtrends um, can start to follow this line here. So this is the zero line. So as long as we're above this, the money flow is generally positive. Uh, so you can see um, we were kind of in negative money flow land back in here. Um, we're below zero here in this, this region here. So, so the good news is that we are quite positive on money flow. Um, still, we're still quite above the zero line here. Um, and so that may take some time uh, to redirect. Um, but if you see the longer term approach, with this guy, um, this one shows us uh, kind of, uh, you know, we have to, looks like we kind of broke the trend here, but so we bring that up here. Um, again, that shows maybe another trend, basically showing the end of November. So end of November um, looks like it's gonna be a pretty tough time uh, in general for the markets um, just with these larger trends we're kind of going to have to deal with what happened uh, earlier certainly by the end of november so um this could kind of money could kind of keep flowing into the market um up into that level so um that move uh, if we measure this move from here to the november point uh, which is right in here that's about a four or five percent move so um, that's pretty sizable up, you know, but we see a lot of these trends, like even today we saw a 2.4% move. So, um, now whether we'll see that is a whole debate. So we could see this kind of slowly go up, um, until November, but there's probably going to be some downtrends here too. So, um, it's kind of a debate in this range, what's going to happen. Uh, so here's the Chenkin money flow. You can see the same kind of peaks that we saw before. Um, I can draw some more lines on this to see. So we see kind of more established peaks. Um, and then this breaking of this one, we see that we can kind of um, 
almost maybe ignore it a little bit so we can maybe bring it up uh, a little bit more uh, like that um, and then say that there's probably some room on the upside here um, until we continue down so that and if we really want to be generous we can go all the way up into here um, and say that well then 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 if we get an uptrend we have to seriously see an uptrend um, which we'll probably not see that we'll probably see it oscillate here and then maybe hit the high uh, around the end of next week or uh, bounce so again that does support the 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 middle of next week kind of idea um, that we might see a reversal heading down uh, money out of the market um, by the middle of next week to late next week so we do see the average two range kind of dropping here quite significantly down here in the kind of channeling like this um, so we do see um, maybe a reversal next week, um, mid to again on the fourth, it looks like this is kind of converging at that point. Um, so we see something in here, um, where we kind of start to have some volatility and that may be volatility down. So we could see an upward trend, um, until that point and then some pretty heavy volatility right there. So that's an interesting possibility. Um, you can see that the, uh, volume profile shows this at uh, around this level, which I don't quite agree could happen, but um, and we kind of have a channel coming up in here where these two kind of converge. Maybe this could be moved up a little bit. So this again would be uh, 9th of uh, November. So the 9th of November is basically two weeks from now uh, versus one week from now. So um, these are kind of the convergences that we see where we see some big changes happening in the market. Um, anyway, if you enjoy this study of the market, uh, let me know. I'd be glad to talk with you about more details. Uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, put any comments down below and we can talk about some things. All right. See you later. Have a great day.